Your board is my board. My board is my board. Cause you Belle said so. Cause she is mommy and super poly. We'll do some big things. I don't know what this deck even does. Lads, welcome back to Fusion YGO. In case you didn't pick up on my little sing song there. Um, yeah, we're doing a Bell profile. This deck is, well, it's neat. And with that, let's dive right into this deck profile. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Like if you like this kind of content and make sure you check out our Discord. It's a great way to keep in touch with all of us, especially with um, with Christian, who's the most active member of the team on there. But I do my best, you know, I do my part. So check it out uh, and let's get into this profile. Let's get into this deck profile. We're not even gonna like fool around. So we've got one copy of Ubel and one copy of Ubel Terror Incarnate. So you play Terror Incarnate, it's more of a brick. It kind of stinks to open, but having it is really important to the deck. And Ubel is actually necessary for a lot of cards in the deck. Uh, and it's pretty easy to summon out. So that's always nice. Uh, but when it's destroyed, it'll summon Terror Incarnate and they have the dealing the damage to your opponent. We got three copies of Spirit of Ubel. Uh, this card is insane. I'll show you kind of the baseline combo with the deck at the uh, at the end of the deck profile. But Spirit of Ubel can summon itself during the battle phase when your opponent's monster attacks. Uh, when it's special summoned, you get to add a Ubel or a card that mentions it from uh, activate a spell or trap that mentions Ubel from the deck. And when it's destroyed by battle or card effect, uh, you could summon a Ubel from the deck or hand deck graveyard or banished, which is really really cool. Three copies of Samsara D Lotus. Uh, you contribute this card to special summon a Ubel monster from the deck during your opponent's turn when a monster effect is activated while you control a Ubel. As a quick effect, you contribute this card and make the activated effect destroy one mon one Ubel monster on the field. And then during your end phase, if you control a Ubel and this card is in the graveyard, you can special summon this. You can add this card to your hand or special summon it. So it's just a really good way to uh, build advantage. And then I'm also playing one copy of the Geist Grinder Golem, which gives your opponent a big 3000 body, which is always really cool. And then uh, you get to summon another card from your hand. So it's a, a way to get some of the bricks out of the hand uh, to allow you to summon things like Spirit of Ubel plus Geister Grinder Golem. It's searchable, which is really nice. And it's a big body, which is important for this deck. So uh, we are playing three copies of Nightmare Pain. Nightmare Pain during the main phase, you can destroy a dark monster in your hand or face up on the field. And if you do add a Ubel card from the, uh, or a card that mentions it from your deck to your hand, you can only use this effect of Nightmare Pain once per turn. While you control a Ubel monster, your opponent's monsters that can attack must attack. And your opponent takes any battle damage you would have taken from uh, battles involving your Ubel monsters. Always really good. We've got one copy of Mature Chronicle. Um, each time a Ubel, a monster is special summon that has Ubel as part of its text or its Ubel itself, you get to add a counter. For one counter, you get to add a special summon a Ubel from the graveyard. Add a, uh, for two, add one of your banished cards to your hand. Three, banish one card from your deck. Four, destroy one card on the field. And five, add a super polymerization from your deck to your hand. Uh, it's once per turn and it removes counters, but it stays on the field. And one copy of Eternal Favorite, it's big effect here is that you're able to super poly with it as a trap card during your opponent's turn. However, you can special summon a uh, one of your Ubel's monsters that is banished or in the graveyard, and neither player can activate cards or effects when the monster is special summoned. So this can give you back a Ubel. Um, Eternal Favor is actually really, really good. And being able to re-add it from the graveyard to your hand off of Mature Chronicle is really nice. So, and then its other effect is the super poly effect where you discard a card and send this face up card to the graveyard to fusion summon from the extra deck using Ubel as, uh, for Ubel specifically. That's the Ubel cards. We are playing the Dark Beckoning Beaks package with two opening of the Spirit Gates. Uh, opening of the Spirit Gates actually has a secondary ability here because you have level tens. You're able to discard a card to summon them from the graveyard and it's really strong. Also everything's fiends, which is really nice. Uh, then it's our, co our consistency card. So we've got three copies of Pot of Prosperity. Uh, this is not a consistency card. This is just a better card. It's three copies of Super Poly three copies of Peary Rise Map, and one copy of One for One. Your whole deck is zero zeros, so this searches basically every card in the deck. One for One summons, specifically Samsara D Lotus, the, the, the One Piece card, but you know, good to have it. Super Poly is insane, because the deck is all about Super Polying away the board. And then it's the going second cards, the hand traps. Uh, currently I'm playing three copies of Nib. 
Three copies of Droll. This card could be, uh, honestly, could be Shifter, and it wouldn't matter. Three Imperm. This could be uh, tr uh, Shifter or Imperm. I think Shifter is probably better uh, in a lot of in, in certain matchups, but overall, Imperm is more impactful. So I wanted to have it because I also I can set it and it's always live. Whereas you know, D Shifter has its advantage as it's being a dark monster, so Nightmare Pain can trigger. Uh, it's just kind of up to personal preference, but I think these nine hand traps are the perfect lineup. And then we're playing two copies of Triple Tactics Talent uh, to round out the main deck. It is exactly 40. It is super neat. Into the extra deck. For the extra deck, we are playing two copies of Ubel, the Loving Defender Forever. Uh, it requires an Abel, a Ubel monster and one plus effect monster on the field. If this card is fusion summoned, you can inflict 500 damage to your opponent uh, for each material used. You can use the effect of Ubel Loving Defender once per turn that way. Uh, it can't be destroyed by battle or card effects. Also, it takes no battle. you take no battle damage from battles involving this card. At the end of the damage step, if this card battled an opponent's monster, inflict damage to your opponent e equal to that monster's attack, and if you do, destroy that, banish that monster. So this gets rid of threats, as well as being a big problem to deal with, and it not being able to be destroyed by battle or card effects uh, is really nice. Uh, we are playing then for super poly targets. We've got one Earth Golem at Ignister that's specifically for Fire King. We've got also Mud Dragon and Garura for the same thing. Uh, we are playing Starving Venom and Pl Prenoplan Drago Stapelia specifically for the branded matchup. And then we, for our XCs, we are playing Gustav Max and Lieb, but we're also playing Star Slayer and Zeus. I think playing Hades and Zeus in the same deck is incredibly important in this one. Because you have a lot of zeros, this is easily summonable and it doesn't really matter. And then you've got two big boys to like burn for game and do cool things like that. Uh, it's important to be able to win in time and this is the deck that will often go to time. We are also playing one copy of Yama and one copy of Rage. This sounds like super weird, right? Because we, you know, don't have a lot of things that we could summon from this. This is here for the side deck and I'll get into that when we get there. And it's the same with Rage. And then we're playing IP and Underworld Goddess. With Rage, it's tough. I don't have access to an SP at the moment. This could be SP and this would probably be a better SP because you can go Rage into SP, IP Mascarena into whatever. Honestly, it's just about finding space. Another thing you could do is cut the Earth Golem and then this becomes just it becomes a free SP and then you've got SP and Underworld Goddess, which is insane. Next up is the side deck. My side deck is really strange, but it's all about playing as many high impact cards as we can. So that's what I did. Here we go. We've got three copies of Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. This is specifically for like the branded matchup. This card kind of just helps. Three copies of Shifter. Shifter is again, this card could be mained. It just depends on what your preference is. Um, currently I'm siding it. Definitely is mainable because of all the cards we have to add to it. Then we've got one copy of Ubel, the ultimate nightmare. Look, I just needed another card. This was my 15th card. I had a free spot. Because I am playing the two Unchains, Unchained Soul of Shyama and Escape of the Unchained. The other thing I'm thinking about running is instead of this, I'm thinking about running uh, Sharvara. Because it's searchable, you can go Sharvara, dump, at, set, escape, and then Shyama, pop it, free advantage. Um, I'm looking at kind of like an Unchained variant of this deck, and I think it's pretty neat. But And then we're playing three copies of Dark Ruler No More, and three copies of Summon Limit. Now for the combo. Let's zoom this out a little bit and let's go ahead and dive right into the combo. For this combo, really what you need is Simsara D Lotus and let's say opening of the Spirit Gates. It doesn't really matter. So what you're gonna do is you're going to activate your opening of the Spirit Gates and you're going to add your Dark Beckoning Beast to your hand. Normal summon Dark Beckoning Beast, which will add you your opening of the Spirit Gates and give you the additional normal summon to Samsara D Lotus. You'll tribute Samsara D Lotus to summon Spirit of Ubel. That will let you activate from your deck Nightmare Pain. With Nightmare Pain, you'll pop Spirit of Ubel, which will let you add Eternal Favorite from deck to hand, and it will also let you summon Ubel. The other benefit to this is that with this board, because we're not playing things like uh, the Unchained Package in the main, the cool thing here is that all this is just insulation. It gives you a way to summon the other one. So what you'll do is you'll be able to, during the end phase, well, you'll set this, right? You'll set your trap. You'll be able to summon the Samsara D Lotus and tribute the Dark Beckoning Beast instead, which will allow you to then just go, okay, 
during your, your opponent's turn, you now have another interruption in the Samsara D Lotus and the Super Poly because it doesn't matter. You just need a Ubel monster. So you can force them to pop this by tributing this. They have to pop the Ubel. You get to summon the other big idiot from the deck, Ubel Terror Incarnate. And then you can fuse with the Terror Incarnate, discarding the opening of the Spirit Gates to fuse with their board. So it gives you a layer of protection that you wouldn't otherwise have, summoning your loving Fender. That's a really simple two card combo, but you can do a lot of this like just with one card. Like Samsara D Lotus is just, without everything else, you can just do most of this with Samsara by going Samsara, Tribute, Spirit, Nightmare, Pop, Add, Summon, Set, any other card in hand, whatever your discard is, whatever your other four cards are, summon the Samsara and then tribute it immediately. And you have the same board, it just, you have one less layer of interaction. So by not having the Shyama play, um, it, this just gives you a different line, which is always really nice. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And until next time, lads, good fun. Have luck.